Austin. Hetherington. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so Joey obviously being on a, a different team in this event, I mean, how odd is that for you or different? Or how's it feel, I guess? Um, it'll be, it'll definitely be different. Um, you know, going in, wearing, wearing, any, uh, wearing any uniform. Um, I'm excited for the opportunity. And, um, you know, it's a great, great event. I've always loved playing in it, so I'm excited, excited to be back. Side of the room, anything? Right. Kevin? Just pass it down. Uh, for Joey and Trace, uh, I don't know how many kind of Pacers games you guys weren't too growing up, but, and also, you know, playing within the shadow of your hometown, what would that experience is like? I know that Trace obviously played there uh, for the, uh, I guess, Indiana Kentucky game, but just, you know, playing in that kind of environment, that kind of arena. Trace, go ahead and start. Um, it's a great venue, Baker's Life. Um, I've always enjoyed playing in there. Um, for the Indian All-Star game, it was fun. Um, we had a great crowd, and so I'm just looking forward to getting back in there. Yeah, I mean, I grew up, grew up going, to, uh, going to watch games there. And, um, went to the crossroads when I was in high school, um, just as a fan, and, uh, you know, playing in the, in the, in the uh, Indian All-Star game is a you know, pretty neat opportunity, you know, getting to play there the past couple of years. So, um, you know, I love playing there, and I know we'll have a lot of, a lot of IEP people out. I guess for both of you, how does an arena play, whether it be the way the ball comes off the court, the sidelines, you know, the way the sound moves to the arena, just what's different about playing at Banker's Life than maybe other places? Um, I feel like there's just kind of a kind of an energy when you're there. Um, it's just a little different being like in a, in a pro a pro arena. Um, but you know, we had our had our scrimmage earlier in the year there and um, you know we we we've all been there. Quite a bit, so I think it's something that uh, that'll, that'll be good for us. Trace, almost definitely. Just off of what Joey said, um, played there for a scrimmage. Uh, there's no people in there, so it's a little going to be a little bit different. But I'm um, just getting used to the rims. I've got to be able to all arenas and just come out and play your game. Trace, you're 11 games in now, and uh, this last little stretch of three, four games was a bunch back to back, and a lot of travel and that. Uh, can you just talk a little bit about what these last couple of weeks have been and? and, uh, and and how you're getting acclimated to the college game and such? Um, just got to always remember, um, just take care of your body. The big thing is all the travel, the wear and tear on your body, playing games back to back like that. So um, just really taking care of your body and being in the training room. Um, just listening to what your coaches tell you is really just key for me. I guess for either one of you, I mean, it sounds like this is going to be another team that's going to look to spread you out a little bit, five on the perimeter, five guys that like to shoot. What, what have been the challenges for you when you, when you face like a Nebraska or other teams that have looked to do that? Um, I mean, when you're playing a team that, um, you know, has everybody that can, that can uh, shoot the ball and, and spread you out, you know, you got to be uh, really disciplined and um, be really sound in your principles. And, um, you know, I think it's going to be a great, a great test for us again. And, um, you know, just get a, you know, kind of get out and show you know what we've been, what we've been working on in practice day in day out. Uh, for either of you, uh, John Mooney leading the nation in rebounding, the challenge of keeping him and some of the other Notre Dame guys uh, off the boards in this game. How much are you guys looking forward to that? Um, most definitely. <clears throat> um, we just got to keep boxing out. Um, uh, he goes after the ball, so um, we've been doing a lot of rebounding drills in practice to try to get ready for that. So um, just got to attack the glass really. Trace, I know you've been working out with Joey, I think, since the spring even, so in what ways does he push you and what, what have you learned from him that's helped you going into your freshman season? Um, Joey's just probably one of the hardest workers I've ever been around, so um, he's trying to always raise your level of play. Um, he's a great leader on and off the court. He's always trying to tell you what to do, so um, just being able to be around him, a veteran guy with experience like he does, and just learning from that is really big for me, and it has been really big for me in this season. Going once, twice. All right, guys, thank you. Thank you.